We got the keys. We got the keys to our new home and I'm so excited today to finally take you inside and show you the whole house. During the pandemic, I, like everyone else in the world, was spending a lot of time at home. And my husband and I decided it was time to finish the remodeling projects we had already started. So we spent the entire year of 2020 remodeling our first home, and we finally got it looking exactly how we wanted it, and then we decided to sell it. Even though we finally had the home looking exactly how we had always wanted it to, our priorities had shifted and we now knew we wanted to live closer to family. We began the search for our forever home near our family and we found the perfect home for us, this 1962 home. So today I'm finally taking you inside the house and I'm gonna give you the full tour before we started doing anything to the house. All right, let's kick it off with the powder bathroom on the main level. Now this is kind of an interesting bathroom because it's really long and skinny and there's a lot of unnecessary space in my opinion for just a powder bathroom. So Jesse had the brilliant idea of using some of this space to create a pantry which will be on the other side of the kitchen and I'll show you that here in a second. First, I have to show you one of our favorite features of the house. Who remembers laundry chutes? There are three different laundry chutes in the house that are all hidden and they all go down to the very bottom floor into the laundry room. So that's gonna be really fun to use. So the toilet is currently just tucked in behind this door. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop this space up into three sections. The very back section by the window is gonna end up being a small pantry with an opening to the kitchen, which is on the other side of this wall. Then there's going to be a recessed area for our refrigerator and then a small powder bathroom. I think we're gonna change the door to swing the other direction to make it easier to get in and out of since it is gonna be a much smaller space. Before we move on and I make this too confusing, I wanted to show you a visual of what the kitchen is going to look like and what I'm talking about with the pantry and the recessed refrigerator. So this is a two scale drawing of what our kitchen will essentially be with the new layout. So you can see on the right side of the island and that door is going to be a door that enters into the pantry and the recessed refrigerator will be just to the right of that. So now that we have this, I can kind of feel like you guys can understand a little bit of what I'm talking about going forward. This was the original layout with the refrigerator on the back wall, and it just took away so much from that being a statement wall. So we came up with the idea of recessing the refrigerator into the bathroom area, and even though we're gonna lose the space in the bathroom, I think overall we're gonna be really, really happy with this choice. Since we won't be having any upper cabinets, just a few simple open shelves, we've opted to have these inserted into our drawers. That will make it easier for storing all of our cups and dishes. This was the very first mood board that I made for the finishes in the kitchen. And as you can see, there's one very specific mid-century item that I literally designed my whole kitchen around, and that is the spice rack. And I'm so excited to tell you guys, I just scored one off of eBay. 
And to give you an idea of the finishes we're looking to do in the kitchen, here's a few more of our design inspo picks that we've saved. And we've been kind of pulling a lot of our ideas and decisions off of. So now let's move back onto the home tour and hopefully this will help you visualize what I'm talking about. Over here is currently a hallway and that is the back door that goes out to the breezeway. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take down this whole wall here on the left. We're gonna open up an opening at the end of this hallway for the pantry, which is gonna be right over there by the back door. And then the refrigerator is gonna get recessed into this wall also. And I think that what that's gonna do is completely open this entire area up for the rest of the kitchen counters. Here is the current kitchen, and as you can see, it's actually a really large kitchen as it is, but we really want to remove this wall right here to open up the space so that we can put a larger island. I have a really large family, and when I'm cooking, I feel like I need as much room in this kitchen to walk around as possible. So this little island right here is going to be removed, and then we're going to put a longer rectangle island here. This section over here on the wall is where the recessed refrigerator is gonna go. And I think it's gonna be pretty close to flush. And then over here in the kitchen, one of the things I'm the most excited about is putting in a larger window. We really wanna capitalize on seeing the nature outside and we're gonna go ahead and take down the upper and drop the window all the way down to the countertop. I think it's gonna brighten up this whole space and the reason we bought this house is because we loved the backyard so much. In phase two of our project, we're gonna be putting in a large glass sliding back door, along with some more windows that drop all the way down to the floor. And that way this entire space is gonna pretty much be windows and you're gonna to get to see the nature, which again is why we bought this house. And so we really wanna bring in as much of that into the home as possible. All right, I'm gonna take you back to this wall real quick just to show you one more time what we're doing. This section here is going to be the powder bathroom. It's gonna be small but completely functional. There's gonna be the recessed refrigerator and then there's gonna be the pantry which is gonna go all the way back in underneath the stairs. And it's just gonna be packed with shelves. We're thinking since this wall's coming down, we might reuse this door, put it over here for the opening of the pantry and hopefully it fits and it works well there. This is the main living room area over here, and there is some natural light, but because we have so many trees, we don't get much direct sunlight. I think opening this up with glass windows is really gonna let in a lot more natural light and really brighten up the space. We're also switching out the dark flooring to kind of give this a much lighter Scandinavian feel to it. We are keeping the brick, but we're not sure what we're doing with that yet. Over here, we're gonna be removing this entire wall section right here. We've already had an engineer double check it. It is not load bearing, woohoo! So we're going to knock that wall out and open up this entire space to the kitchen. Now we do have to have something because of the stairs. Oops, don't mind the toilet paper. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out this section right here. I think it's really gonna open up this space so much so you can actually see from the living room to the kitchen and then over here we do have to have something I think 42 inches up because of the stairs we love built-in planter boxes and so we want to extend this brick out and do a built-in planter box with lots of little snake plants I think it's gonna be perfect and it will work as a barrier One of the reasons we fell in love with this house was the tongue and groove ceilings and the post and beam construction. This space does not need a lot of work. We're gonna remove this wood box that goes across the top and hides the window coverings, but the windows are excellent. We love these little windows over here with the wood shutters, and we're still not sure what we're doing with the fireplace, but all this flooring will be replaced, and eventually we will come over here and figure out what to do. I think this is gonna be in phase three. We 
love the natural brick and it goes all the way up through the roof. I think it's absolutely beautiful, but we really don't wanna have a wood stove. We really want a wood burning fireplace. So we're a little torn on what to do here. We'd love to have it built out to have a wood burning fireplace, but I think that it's gonna be impossible to match this brick color. So that would leave us with painting the brick. And I really don't think I wanna do that. So we're gonna have to just wait and see. Once we get in the flooring and we really figure out how everything looks together, I think that will help us make some decisions there. I cannot wait to share the transformation of this space. Once we get the stove done, the windows put in, the flooring, we add in all of our furniture pieces, I think this space is gonna look completely different. It's gonna be so exciting to share this process with all of you guys and I I just can't wait for those windows. I think that's the thing I'm the most excited about and the walls coming down. I can't wait. It's gonna really look amazing as soon as we're done. The homeowners asked us if we wanted to keep this piano because they didn't need it when they moved. And we said yes. And even though I don't play, I think I can play Happy Birthday and a Free Willy song. My brother-in-law plays and he comes over all the time. So it's been fun having it. I love these little wooden shutters. I think the only thing I'm gonna do is change out the little knobs on them, but they are in really great condition and I've always loved these high up, small, narrow, mid-century windows. We are going to be getting a new front door. We're still currently looking for that. We're gonna switch out all of the light covers and the outlet plates throughout the house. On this door, this is where I'm really wanting to find an awesome brutalist door handle. So I'm waiting it out. I'm just gonna keep that door and that door handle for now until I find the perfect piece. All right, now let's go up to the top floor. So up here is eventually gonna become our master suite. So this is phase three for the project. Over here, you can see is Little Italy. So this is my little rooftop terrace and I'm gonna take you guys out there in a few minutes. Once you get upstairs right now, you've got a bathroom here on the left, you've got the loft and you've got a separate bedroom. So until we get to phase three, this is gonna become my studio office, I guess you could call it. I'm gonna have my desk in here and I'm gonna have some fun and temporarily decorate it because we are not exactly sure when phase three will start, but it's a nice little space and it's got beautiful ceilings up here. There's lots of good storage with these little closet spaces so I can keep like my filming equipment and extra lights in there. There's two more of these on the other side in the loft also. This space is gonna work great for my office for right now, but during the phase three project, these walls are coming down. This whole wall and this whole wall are coming down and it's all gonna be one large open loft room. We are gonna be keeping a bathroom up here, but it is gonna double in size. So these walls will stay here, but this wall here in the hallway is going to come down. Then this door will go away and I will show you over here in the loft where we plan to expand the bathroom. So right now we are thinking the bathroom is going to be expanded over to here. And that's gonna give us some more space because it's a pretty small bathroom right now. The entrance may end up being on this side. We're still not quite sure how this is all going to work and play out, but at least we know we have this extra space here that can be used to extend the bathroom. These two walls come down and this entire ceiling is going to be exposed to the master suite. Something we are not sure yet how we are going to tackle is the openness of this loft. Now it is so beautiful and I've always dreamed of having a loft, but I know Lorenzo and he's gonna jump from here to there and then to there and what if he misses? That's not gonna happen. So we are not sure what we're gonna do here. We've talked with a contractor about several options. We might be putting in some really large glass walls 
and dropping it down to the floor. So if we were to drop this all the way down, put in maybe three large panels of glass, that way we can keep the natural light in here. And maybe we have a curtain rod that goes across that can be closed so that we can have privacy from the downstairs area. We're really not sure what's gonna happen here. So this is phase three and we will get to it probably next spring. But for now, we're just gonna keep living in the space and thinking about it until we figure out for sure what to do. One thing I know I wanna do though is open the backside of this up and expose that brick. That's the backside of the chimney and I think it would be beautiful behind that shelving unit. We'd have the door to the bathroom right here, the exposed brick, all kinds of cute little treasures on that shelf. I think that'd be really pretty, especially if you can see it from downstairs. Once we have this wall put into place, this is all taken down and open. The bed is probably gonna back up to this wall. That way we've got tons of space to walk around the bed without hitting your head on the ceilings because they do get lower over on the left side. This is probably gonna change. This is just our tentative plan. We know the walls are coming down. We know we're gonna open this all up and the rest of it we'll probably figure out with our contractor once we get done with phase one, which is the kitchen. We do know for sure we're adding in a large sliding door because I really want to be able to see the whole rooftop terrace. And then over here, it's gonna be opened up. I feel like from the bed, you're gonna have beautiful views each direction. This is where we're gonna be adding in the large sliding door. It will probably be identical to the one downstairs. It's just gonna be a black metal frame sliding door. I really wanna create a magical oasis here on the rooftop and I wanna be able to see it, especially from in the bedroom. When you walk up the stairs, I want it to be the first thing that you see. And I plan to spend so many mornings here listening to the birds, drinking my coffee and working. One thing I did notice is that if you stand right here, check this out. The beams on the right side are natural and the beams on the left are the dark stain like throughout the entire house. So we'll have to do a stain to try to match that on the ones in here. Maybe we'll even paint all the beams black throughout the house. We haven't decided yet. All right, here is the upstairs bathroom. It's very small and it has a shower that is so terrifying. I think I would feel too claustrophobic to even shower in here but this space is gonna completely change. So pretty much everything is gonna be taken out and we're gonna go for a very European style bathroom. So all the floors are gonna be tiled. Um, the walls are gonna be tiled. There's gonna be a really open shower. The toilet might stay in this location, but this is all gonna be removed here and extended. It's gonna pretty much double in size. We talked about putting in skylights to give some natural light in here. We're not quite sure if we're gonna do that, but we know for sure that this is gonna extend. I'm gonna go in the shower so I can turn around and show you back here. This door over here is gonna be gone. That's gonna just be a finished wall. And this is probably gonna be where the shower head will come out, somewhere around here. And then this is gonna all be tiled. So it's gonna be kind of like a wet bathroom where you, you've got just an open shower to the space. Maybe over here, we're gonna put in a little bench, something along those lines. We haven't figured out exactly what's gonna happen, but all of this is gonna go. Toilet might stay because I know it's expensive to move. Uh, the plumbing for toilets. So we might just leave that where it's at. And I don't know if we're gonna put in a skylight cause we just love the tongue and groove ceiling so much, but we'll need a really good fan system in here for sure to make sure that we don't get any moisture damage because of the shower. Welcome to Little Italy. This is my favorite place on the entire property. And I'm, I've dreamed about having a space like this pretty much my entire adult life. When I was a kid, I used to sneak out and go sit up on the roof and look at the stars and sing songs to myself. And I think that this is gonna be a really special place to spend time and even just to work. The plans with this space right now are to create a Mediterranean oasis. We need to replace this entire piece right here. It's not sturdy enough and there's some openings I think kids could get through. We're gonna put in another drainage system over here and then all of this is going to be removed and we're gonna put down completely new flooring. I want terracotta, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. 
all this siding over here has to be replaced because of water damage. So there's a lot of work and this is phase two. So as soon as we are done with the kitchen, we are ready to tackle this space. We've already had a couple contractors come out and look at things. We're getting all of our ducks in a row. So we are ready to pull the trigger as soon as the kitchen is finished. And it's gonna be a really magical space. It's probably gonna be the most bohemian space on our entire property. And I just cannot even wait to share what this is gonna look like when it's all finished. This over here will eventually be my studio space. That's phase four. And here we are looking back at what will be the master suite on the top floor. And that door and window will all become one big sliding glass door. It's really gonna open up that loft and let in a lot of natural light. And this is going to be my design studio eventually. We are keeping these original little shutters right here. They're that kind of frosted glass, but we obviously need to get a new door. And it's a little bit scary over here since you guys know that I'm scared of spiders. Not a big fan and this space does need quite a bit of work, but it's really not gonna be too bad. So this is phase four over here of the remodel. And I really think it's going to be a really fun space for me to use to film my YouTube videos and to film my halls and stage and set everything up. I'm just really excited to have a space that's designated to my YouTube channel and somewhere that I can just start having fun decorating and designing. There's not a lot of work that needs to be done in here. The ceiling, again, like the main house, is just incredible. This wall can come down, and so we will be removing all of this and open it up into one giant loft space. The floors need to be redone, and right now we are planning on putting in cork flooring. It's so comfortable to walk on, and it feels very mid-century. Along here, we need to redo some insulation. And that's pretty much it. There's not a lot of work that needs to be done. This furniture piece came with the house and I absolutely want to repurpose it, make sure to use it somewhere. It's got a cool angle right here and I'm wondering if I can actually take this piece and put it all the way over here and use it as a coffee bar. I think that would be perfect to have my coffee right inside here so that we don't have to go downstairs. When we're outside having coffee in Little Italy, we can just pop in here and I can have my Nespresso and a water tank and whatnot. While we wait for phase four, all of this area right here is going to be used to store some of my vintage items. There were already these beautiful wooden shelving units in this space, so that's gonna work perfect for storage. I think that this back wall right here is gonna be where I'm gonna do something a little dramatic and fun, probably an amazing wallpaper. It'll make everything pop. Someday down the road, maybe we will turn this into a guest suite. We could even put in a bathroom. There's so much potential for this space. One thing we have been talking about doing is the possibility of adding in skylights. We could put one here, one there, and I think that that would really let in a lot of light. Maybe we even do two more on this side. I don't know. I know skylights can be very expensive, so we'll have to get some quotes to see what that's going to come in at. But I really think that this space does need some natural light. When we put in a door here, we might do something with more glass on the front to try to let in a little bit more light. But until then, it's just going to be lots of mood lighting. I'm going to take you downstairs to the final space in the house, which is the basement. So we just came back through the loft area and the kitchen, and I might as well take this toilet paper downstairs with me while we're at it. And we are headed to the basement. We've got to have a moment for the vintage beaded curtains. They came with the house and I honestly really love all of these little touches throughout the home that make it feel like a mid-century era home. The built-ins are going to stay and I think that these are actually really functional to put things like toilet paper. <laughs> we're going to change out the hardware and we're going to paint them. I'm not sure what color but we are gonna leave the entire inside original because I think this is really fun with the mixed patterns. 
We're gonna remove this little wood detail, the scrolling, because I feel like that's really gonna update it by just popping off this piece. And once they're painted and have new hardware, I think they're gonna look really good and be very functional. It could be kind of cool if I wallpapered the door fronts. Hmm, I might have to think on that. That could be really fun. So here is the third bathroom in the home. This whole bathroom is gonna get completely remodeled, but that's in phase four. So that's not till next year for sure. So right now we're just living with it the way that it is. Everything in here works. Everything's completely functional. It's actually a really good sized bathroom. And it's got the beautiful tongue and groove ceilings in here. So I'll pop in a couple inspo picks. I know we're gonna do a freestanding tub. It is attached to the laundry room. And over here is where the laundry chute comes down. So this is so much fun. All of our nieces and nephews have been dropping little things down here to come and check every time. They're just as surprised that it actually falls through from the top floor. It's really cute. And I actually think I'm gonna use it. It'll be kind of nice to have everything go down there. Let's drop off the toilet paper while we're here, and then I'm gonna take you into what will be the guest bedroom, but for the first phase of remodeling, it's going to be where we are gonna be staying. Oops, I think I just burned out the lights. Yep, I did. Okay, well, we're gonna get new wall sconces put in here anyway, so I'll have Jesse take care of that. One of my favorite features of this room is the closet. It's got a beautiful, really large closet space, and I've already claimed this as my own. I'm making Jesse take the upstairs closet space because, you know, your girl's got a lot of coats, but it's got built-ins and it's got lights in the closet. It's going to be a really functional space, and I'm excited to get moved in here. Once the upstairs loft is done and becomes our master suite, this will become the guest bedroom. And this wall over here is where I'm gonna put my Crater Lake gallery wall. The bed will go over in this corner. And I think that there's gonna be plenty of space for it. And I think it's just gonna look really beautiful. I'm very excited to get that collection finally up on a wall. One feature that has to go is the sliding door. This reminds me of our camping trailer growing up. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna put here, but I know that that has to go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the water heater in this closet. And then over here on the other side of the stairs is the main living space downstairs. So this is where we're gonna have our TV. This is where we're going to entertain a lot of the time because I think that it's going to be a very fun and cozy room. Our goal with this space is to make it feel like a mid-century time capsule. This stove right here is gonna get removed. I don't know if we're gonna add another one or not, but I know for sure that we are keeping these beautiful original parquet flooring so it does need to be refinished but for now it looks great and we're really excited to have the original flooring it's got the beautiful tongue and groove ceilings with the beams original wall paneling the original brick I think this is gonna be a really fun space when we're done decorating it this wall over here is where Jesse's gonna have his stereo set up. We listen to records all the time. So this wall is gonna be designated for that. And down here is the bomb shelter. Jesse has been given full, 100% full creative control for this space. The only exception is that he has to keep this original carpet because it's fantastic. A little bit dirty, it needs a good cleaning, but it's fantastic. So this space down here is gonna become our bar. There's gonna be some kind of a sign here that says the bomb shelter, he's already named it. And it's going to be a really fun little space. I know he wants to put in some kind of an actual physical bar with bar stools, but I have given him full creative control. He does not need my approval for anything. In fact, I'm almost tempted to not come down here and just wait until he's completely finished with the space and let it be a surprise. That way it'll be a surprise for you guys and for me. I think that might be kind of fun. It rains nine months out of the year here in Portland. So having this covered breezeway has been something I have dreamed of for so many years. I really love to entertain even on kind of gloomy and rainy days. And having this whole covered area to create an entertaining space is a dream come true. 
So what I'm trying to figure out right now is do I want a round table or do I want something that's longer and rectangular? I'm worried that if I did something longer, it's going to get in the way of the entrance to the garage. So right now I'm leaning towards something round. I could always put the rectangular table the other direction, but then it still gets in the way of the stairs and the pathway to the garage. I'm pretty confident that a circular one's the way to go. And by the way, pro tip right here, if you need something and you don't have any blue tape on hand, pine cones work too. Just measure out the space and put your pine cones and there you go. Makes it easier to visualize. We have appropriately named this space the breezeway and it's not just going to have the table it's also going to have an entire living area out here we want to be able to use it year round so we're going to have a sofa we're going to have a side chair a coffee table and even the egg chair from my vancouver house So much has already changed here at the home since I first filmed this walkthrough. And I'm so excited to let you know that I'm gonna have a new home vlog coming next week. And there's gonna be lots of updates. You're gonna see where we're at with the kitchen remodel, what we've started tackling, and maybe a few hiccups that we've already ran into. So I will see you guys next week in a brand new episode.